If you've tried using a trap in Ark Survival Ascended, you might have experienced something a bit like this. Why does this happen and what can we do about it? Well, stick around because that's what we're going to find out in this video. So this behaviour is the new AI pathfinding system that's basically supposed to make the dinos smarter, although that's a bit questionable in its current state. But anyway, not only does it prevent wild creatures walking into structures, but it helps both wild and tamed creatures navigate around terrain, even helping prevent them from falling off cliffs. But the part that we're really going to focus in on is this behaviour of them avoiding structures. So let's try answer two questions. Firstly, what creatures avoid traps? And secondly, what structures are seen as an obstruction? So what creatures are affected? Well, after testing dozens of creatures, what I can tell you is that it's only the land-based creatures. Aerial and aquatic creatures will still move toward their target in a direct path regardless of what obstacles are in front of them. Now I have found a weird exception to the land-based pathfinding, which is that an Allosaurus on its own, or a Ute without any Carnos surrounding it, won't pathfind. So what type of structures or what configuration of structures do they avoid? To test this I started by trying all the foundational structures on their own, with both large and small creatures. What I found with foundations and triangle foundations was that as long as they weren't too high for the creature to walk over, the creature wouldn't pathfind around them. With pillars and gates, the small creatures would have no problem going through, but the larger creatures would realise that they couldn't fit and they'd walk all the way around. But the most unexpected one was fence foundations and fence supports. All creatures, no matter the size, would walk all the way around them. So given that foundations seemed to cause no disturbance to the path, I started adding other structures to them for further testing. I'd be here all day telling you about these tests, so to cut a long story short, you can trick some creatures to an extent. For example, this theory doesn't seem to see these ceilings. But one thing that's been consistent in all my tests is that they always seem to know if they're going to get stuck. So I think it's safe to say that trapping as we've known it for all these years is gone. Whether that's a good thing for the game or not is a question that I'll get onto in just a minute. But before we do, let's consider five options you're left with for trapping land creatures. So option one is to struggle on with the same old traps. It's not impossible to get them into these traps, it's just very difficult. The best chance you've got is staying very close to the creature while it hits you through the trap. Option two is bear trap and build around with gates or billboards. This is a method that I hate from a creative standpoint, but there's no denying that it's more feasible than ever now that structures have no pickup timer. Option three is to pick and drop creatures into a trap. This isn't possible on official PVE and doesn't work for the biggest creatures like diggers and carkers, but for everything else, it's a great option. Option four is raft motorboats and platform dinos. As of making this video, they don't seem to see the platform structures as an obstruction, presumably because they're not attached to the world. So providing this doesn't get patched, it's another really good option. Option five is going to be the least popular, but the one that excites me the most, which is to invent something. This game's still very new. Just because I haven't had much success with trapping them yet, it doesn't mean we won't find a way. So if it's something that interests you, I encourage you to do some experimenting of your own because you might just find a game-changing discovery. The one question remains to be answered. Is wild pathfinding a good thing or a bad thing for the game? This really comes down to a matter of opinion, but in my opinion, it's both. It's good in that the more intelligent they can make the AI, the more immersive the game becomes. But the bad side of it is that it's a step away from one of the most creative aspects of the game. You can make the most interesting taming mechanic for a creature, but if there's no creativity involved, once you've learnt that method of taming, all you can do is repeat what you've already done. But when there's creativity by means of building, that constant question of, is there a better way to do this, can keep a community fueled for years. So what I'm saying is keep making the dinos smarter, I'm all for that, but give us creative tools to outsmart them in return. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think to the whole pathfinding situation in the comments below. 